Yeah, I'm talking about books today. Who in here has a book already? Or one or two or five? Raise your hand. Very, very high. Be proud. Even if you're an author in a compilation, please raise your hand. Because I can't tell you how many people I talk to that are in compilation books that forget or don't think it's important. Thank you. Thank you. That's amazing. Look at how many authors are in this room. That is so awesome. How many of you know you have a book in you, either another one or a, one at least, right? Keep your hands up if you're scared to death of writing it. Oh good, okay, so just a few, okay. <laughs> uh, how many, yes, I see you. I'm waiting for my amen. I'll wait till I get it in a second. <laughs> first. I get you. Uh, so I want to talk about why. Why write a book, right? How many of you, give me some answers, popcorn it. What do you think? Tell your story. Cathartic. Visibility. Share your knowledge. Honor what? Honor somebody. That's nice. What? Healing. I thought you said killing. I'm like, I want to kill it in cash flow. Yes. Healing. Thank you, sweetie. To help others. Right. What did you say? Oh, yes. Yes. Lots of. Uh, when I first wrote my. Well, let me back up. I never wanted to write a book. You know? Never. Why would I write a $20 thing when I can sell a $200 thing, a $2,000 thing, and a $20,000 thing? That's what my brain thought. Why would people focus on books? Who has time to sell a $20 book when you can sell a $2,000 book? You can have a talk for 30 minutes and sell a $2,000 program or a $20,000 mastermind. Like, it just didn't compute to my sales and marketing brain. I've been in sales and marketing since I was 16 years old. And I was like, no, a book takes way too long to write and it's very low price. That's silly. Until I saw all my friends getting on stages. So, oh, I have this book and it's on this topic and here's my talk on the same topic. And oh, I'm selling this product with that same topic and you're gonna buy it. I'm like, cha-ching, marketing. Okay, gotcha, I get it, it's a marketing tool. Now it may not be a marketing tool for everybody and that may not be your why. That was my initial why. And even, uh, so, but in the beginning of my business, I still didn't have time to write my own full book, right? And <clears throat> I was still building my business, trying to get clients. I hadn't gotten to 100,000 a year yet in the business, and so I thought, well, I'll just write a chapter in a compilation book. I was with Allie Brown. I don't know how many know Allie Brown way back when, right? So I wrote in her book. Well, she's a good marketer, so I'm sure that'll get out, right? And that was fun. And then I wrote two more compilation books, uh, chapters. And I said, okay, it's finally time to write my own book. But guess what? It took three long years to write that dang book. <laughs> and uh, in the process, I thought, well, when I decided to write it, I said, well, I'll just do an event around it, kind of like this, but I did three days. I'll do an event around it, which will push and force the content out of me to get it for the event, and then that'll be the structure of the book, right? How many people have done that kind of a strategy before? That didn't happen. I still got content for the book. I still did the event, yay. But it took forever to write that one book. When I finally started really writing the story, which was more my story, right? There's different kinds of books you can write. There's your story, and there's your system book, there's tips books, there's compilation books, there's a lot of different kinds of books. And I'm talking mostly nonfiction. Uh, of course, you can write fiction too, but unless you're somebody really big with a lot of books, uh, you're, you know, it's hard to make a lot of money as a fiction author, right? So, but I will tell you the biggest transformation from writing my own full book, the Love Yourself Successful one, the one where I go deep, right, into my own um, broken marriage and all the suffering and stuff. This was the book that transformed me from the inside out. And so I'm telling you, if you have a little work to do on yourself, start writing. Start writing. You can do it. And I'll bet you, once you get a little into the writing, something to count is your word count, for example. So if you want a little exercise, you know, and you start writing, or you look at some of your blog posts or your articles, look at the word count, because like a 25,000 words could be a book, all right? 
maybe 35, 40,000. That's a good sized book, you guys. Okay, most people look at pages. Don't look at pages, because that's a Word doc versus a book size. Okay, so don't look at pages, but look at word count. I just want to get you excited and motivated to start writing something. Now, I'm all about getting it done, so please don't let it sit in your computer and just sit on your paper. We have to get the book actually done. Okay, so if you need a ghostwriter to help you, if you need a book mentor to help you, that's not me, but I know people that do that, all right? <laughs> uh, and we just need to get it done faster. Why? Because you need another book, and another book, and another book. It's not about one book these days. It's about multiple books. When you look at me on Zoom, how many people have seen me on Zoom? There's like 30 books behind me, right? Because I have 22 books now. I've written chapters in 18, 18 compilation books. Uh, Elizabeth and I were in one together, Woman Gone Wild. That was a fun book. Uh, Mel and I were in one with Carrie and Colleen, uh, Six Figure Chicks. I mean, come on, it's just fun. And it's collaborative, right? You get to collaborate with all kinds of amazing people in the books that you end up could do joint ventures with. That's how Colleen and I, we did lots of joint ventures together because we, and we've been in multiple books together. So there's many, many reasons to do a book sooner than later and multiple books. So open your mind to what else is possible. Write different chapters for compilations. Get your own book done at some point. Right? Getting clients is more important than running your own book, but compilation books are easy. And I just want to make it as easy and painless for anybody to get the book done. I'm not a pub I'm a publisher, but I also just teach you how to do it yourself. So I can teach you how to do it yourself, I can do parts of it, or I can do all of it. It just depends on what your goals are. I just want you to think. So who who's thinking differently about writing a book just from this five minutes? Anybody? Anybody yet? Renata? Okay. Yeah, Stephanie? Yeah. I mean, it can really raise your credibility. It can make it louder and bolder. And look, you can have fun pictures, right? <laughs> uh, and I don't know how much time I have, because I can talk for hours. You know that. Um, <laughs> wow, really? OK. Oh, OK. <laughs> All right. Well, there was a couple things I wanted to make sure I told you. OK, so first of all is know your why. Right. Why do you want to write the book? Do you want to get on? I've been on TV. You can get on TV in your local area. How many people have been on your local TV station? Just a ham handful of you. Not bad. How many of you would like to be on TV for something? Right? You know what you get a book? They love putting authors on the TV station. And it's free. It's free marketing. And then you take that video, you put it on your website, and guess what? All the traffic and people that come to your website, oh, she's been on TV. Right? I mean, that is all free. Uh, just from being in a, I, the very first book I was in, I didn't write the book. It was one chapter. I got on my local TV station. I'm so, I, it's so easy. It can be very easy to get into the local media. Uh, you can have a podcast around the topic of your book. How many of you have a podcast? Right? You can take the guest. How many of you want a podcast? Wait, that was only three people. <laughs> Okay, I don't have a podcast either, but I did radio back when blog talk was, was a thing. Uh, so I did four years of radio, and I just, nah, I'm done with that now. I'll be on podcasts, but I don't want to start one. But if you have a branded podcast with a branded system that you teach, with a book that goes with it, and a speech, I mean, imagine it just goes all hand in hand. It creates more authority, more credibility, and more influence and impact. Okay, so more people you're going to reach. So I'm just excited to help people get excited about writing more books. And I do have, I know there's nothing, I can't talk about it all here, but I love talking costs with you. I will brainstorm and show you exactly how much things cost because a lot of publishers out there charge, I, th I personally think they, they could charge less, okay? <laughs> I like to make it as affordable as possible and I will show you exactly what you need. Now you do have to have professional looking covers and things like that. Please do not create your own covers on Canva. No, no, and please don't let AI write your name book, okay? So those are the no's <laughs> and there's also things to put in the book. There's a lot of mistakes people make. They forget to put inside the book. So I'm just a wealth of knowledge. I wanna be a resource. Please ask me questions here. Come to my webinar, sign up on my thing. I'm happy to send you more information or schedule a one-on-one -on -one with you later, seriously. I just wanna help more, get, more people get published.